Hey, welcome to Hollywood Happens. I'm John McQuilkin. Thanks for tuning in. Our top story today, the producers of the hit series Jersey Shore are contemplating recasting the show with less expensive talent since the current cast is being paid so highly. Now, mega talent DJ Pauly D feels this is a huge mistake and he feels he and his castmates are irreplaceable. And I have to agree with his wise assertion. This talented bunch of tan bodies and gelled hair are to the Jersey Shore what Eva Peron was to Argentina. Don't cry for me, Jersey Shore. The truth is, you're not all whores. Some of you have talent and other six packs. And then there's Snooky, and then there's Snooky. And speaking of New Jersey, its governor does not approve of gay marriage and has said so, while New York and its governor does. A landmark decision was reached legalizing gay marriage in the state of New York, and it coincided perfectly with the annual Gay Pride Parade. New York, I congratulate and applaud you. And a huge blunder was made at the BET Awards. Did you guys see it? Okay, here is what happened. A fan was selected to go up on stage and announce the winner of the Coca-Cola Viewer's Choice Award. Now, rather than open a traditional envelope, she read from a handheld tablet. And she correctly announced that Chris Brown was the winner. But confusion set in when Rihanna's image appeared up on the screen. Thinking she had it wrong, she said, no, wait, it's Rihanna. Then to make matters worse, BET host uh, Terrence, uh, Terrence, Terrence Jenkins said, no, wait, it's Drake. So while Drake was up on stage, accepting the award meant for Chris Brown, Kanye West jumped up on stage saying, no, uh-uh, Beyonce deserved this award. <laughs> and finally, two and a half men, producers and writers are contemplating killing off Charlie Sheen's character by possibly having him drive off a cliff in the show's season premiere. And I have to say, I think this is a terrific idea because let's face it, nothing says comedy like a horrible, deadly car accident. Hey, did you guys go see a film this past weekend? If you did, you probably saw Cars 2 because that film dominated at the box office, opening at $68 million. Bad Teacher opened at $31 million. Green Lantern brought in 18.4 mil for a grand total of 89.3 million. Super 8, another 12.1 mil for a grand total of 95.2 million. And rounding out the top five, Jim Carrey's Mr. Popper's Penguins brought in 10.3 million for a very dismal grand total of $39.4 million. So if you went to see a film this past weekend, on behalf of the box office, I'd like to give you a, a great, big thank you. Celebrating a birthday today, producer J.J. Abrams turns 45, Gossip Girl's Ed Westwick turns 24, and Tobey Maguire, 36. And I'm sure they're all watching. So I just wanna wish all of them a great big old Hollywood Happens happy birthday. On this day in history, in 1939, one of the most famous scenes in movie history was filmed. It was from the film Gone with the Wind, with Rhett Butler delivering those famous lines to Scarlett O'Hara, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. And here's your quote of the day. It comes from Dr. Martin Luther King. He says, we must learn to live together as brothers or perish together as fools. And those words are just as true today as they were when he first spoke them. Well, that's it for today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, please keep an eye out for my new show, which will be premiering later this week. It is called Travel Adventures with John McQuilkin. And also keep in mind that in addition to being the unofficial spokesperson of Hollywood, I'm also a top Los Angeles real estate agent. So if you know anyone thinking of buying or selling a home anywhere in Los Angeles, make sure they contact me. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I'm John McQuilkin, and I'll see you in Hollywood.